right now I'm actually waiting for the amplifiers that are gonna go in the Escalade. In the meantime, I need to get familiar with this new JL Audio piece. I don't want the first day that I use this thing to be the first day that it's already installed. I wanna already know what I'm doing way before that. So I got my handy little test bench right here. Got it all plugged in. Play with it a little bit, see how it goes. You saw in the last video, the Nav TV GM650. Well, that thing puts out a nice clean optical signal. It actually puts out a lot of clean signals in a lot of different ways. But that optical output that I've been looking for is gonna feed right into this new JL Audio processor. And then from there, it's gonna go out to my new amps that I'm waiting for right now. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for those things to show up, I'm gonna get familiar with this thing on the old test bench. I have no idea how this thing operates, but I'm about ready to find out. All right, so I spared you guys the boring part where I hooked up all these wires. But I'm gonna jump right into the laptop, show what the interface looks like, and actually see if I can get some sound out of it. Right now, I'm just using RCA in, RCA out. And as soon as I'm familiar with everything, I'm gonna pull the Escalade in and hook up the optical cable out of there right into here and see if that's any good. And if so, I know I'm gonna be ready. We got a Sound Digital 5500.1. It's upside down, but it has to be because my power wires are mainly on this side. We got a B2 Audio Duo 3000 Watt Class AB. Hooked up to some CT sound speakers up here on my bench. Some basic coaxes, but they've been in here for a long time and uh, well, they usually sound pretty good in that little enclosure. That amp is hooked up to these Sundown Audio 24 inch subs. Skeletor box, I'm sure you've seen it before if you've been on this channel for a long time. And last but not least, we got the old Pioneer that used to ride in my Tahoe for years and years. It is now a test bench deck. So we're gonna pop this face on, fire up the laptop, see what's doing. See if we can get some sound out of this thing. I'm gonna pull the Escalade in, try the optical outputs. Now one of the first things I noticed on this JL processor is it's got the master volume. Well, a lot of processors have master volume on them, but this one has two of them on it. It's got an Innie and an Audi. I'm guessing this is master volume and this is bass. Probably programmable, I don't know, but I really like that. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. See if we can get some lights. Oh yeah, here we go. We got lights. Now, of course, this processor does a lot more stuff than I'm gonna be able to show you just in this video alone. Of course, we're gonna get into some basic functions though. We're gonna hook up this laptop. We're gonna fire up the program and we're gonna see just how easy or, or how hard it is to set everything up. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. We got it lit up, we got a laptop right here, got a bass amp, got a mids and high amp, got mids and highs, got woofers. You wanna know more about all the features, you can check this out. JL Audio. All right, I've already got this USB cord plugged into the unit. Now I just gotta run it over here to the laptop, hit the program and see what it does. Right, it's got all these different choices of things you can do. I'm gonna end up checking optical when I'm ready to try the optical out, but for right now, we're gonna do 2.1 left, right, sub. So we got left, right. We got some basic frequencies to start with. We got subwoofer and some basic frequencies to start with. Pretty simple. So just with those two easy steps, this thing already got me on the road. It's got 80 and up for the highs, 80 and down for the lows. Of course, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna fine tune that. I'm gonna adjust that the way I want it. But at least the crossover is working now. 
Well, I believe it's working. I say we turn it on and see if we can get some sound from it. If I got sound, then we're good to go. All right, we ain't got no sound yet. I don't know, I must have did something wrong. Keep in mind, I'm doing this without opening any instructions at all. So, I'm looking, I see a red thing with a speaker on it, and that looks like it's some sort of a mute button. Let's see. Uh, yep. Yeah, I got good intuition when it comes to this shit. This thing is already playing, and it sounds good. Shut up, let's go. Turn it up, turn it up. Damn. The most basic settings there is, just to get you started, EQs are all flat, and it already sounds great. Damn. Well, let's get into this EQ just a little bit. I'm gonna bring the caddy in, make sure that my optical is working. Once I know the optical stuff is working, I can take it to the next stage. Right, before I go any further, I'll show you a couple little key features on this thing. Some cool stuff. I'll play some sounds. You'll probably be able to hear the difference on the microphone. More than likely you will. Okay, so these are the crossovers, not the EQs. You're basically telling your highs where to start and where to end. So right now, we're starting at 80 hertz and we're stopping at 20,000 hertz. Basically, the end of the line for human hearing. You can actually not only high pass this, but you can band pass it or low pass it, whatever you want. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna go ahead and turn the music up and I'm gonna cut this thing off. It starts at 80, we're gonna cut it off at 500 and show you exactly what band pass is. Yeah, you know what it is, man. CHP, Chicken Hill Productions. What up, Chicken Busy, man? CHP. that no highs at all because we're picking up the highs and then we're dropping them back off at 500 hertz band pass so we don't want to do that not in here we don't Channels. Go down here to the subwoofer and do the same thing. Of course, you got all your EQs right here. This thing goes really deep. You got a little flow chart where everything's flowing, which direction it's going. It took me a minute to figure that out, but it's not that bad at all. It's pretty easy. So we'll go back to the crossovers. We'll go back to the EQ. CHP, Chicken Hill Productions. What up, Chicken? Let's go. Like I said, this processor does a lot more stuff than I can sit here and try to explain. If you're interested, buy it, read the instructions. Actually, I think you could download the software, try it in demo mode, so you can see for yourself if it's any good. But right now, I'm pretty happy with Let's it. Go and unplug this and see how that volume knob works. Okay, so I have this deck turned up to 60 out of 62. Most pioneers don't distort till about then. So that thing's turned all the way up. This is turned all the way down and I hear nothing, which is real nice. So, here I'll start the song over again. Yeah, there's nothing right now, but watch this. Oh yeah. They blinded. I should give me some diamonds. Cause I heard that bring Isaac. Who oh, you used to? That's cool. I still rock with who riding. Same team and same name. Still got my thoughts right in blue that. Who that? Who you thought? Can you guys hear me? 
guys hear that? You may be able to hear it on a phone, but it's slapping in here. And it's not even turned up that high. It's slapping though. Getting better with time. I put the world on my back. Man, the sound quality on that. I can't believe that those coax will sound like that. I'm a victim of pride. I'm happy. I'm chilling. It's my bro. This one. This one's gonna shine on mid bass if it's any good. coaxes they've been on the bench forever i suspect they sound good because they're in that enclosure but goddamn they hey they sound real good right now There's only one more thing to do before I can plan out the rest of my system. I'm gonna pull this razor out and I'm gonna pull the Escalade in. I got a 25 foot optical cable toss link. I'm gonna run it out of the Escalade from the nav TV unit over here to the test bench. If I got that sweet sound I'm looking for, which I think I am gonna have, then I know I'm gonna be good to go. I don't want no surprises when I first hook it up. I just want it to be ready to go. I already know what's going on and it's playing, no, no issues. So that's why I'm doing this right now. Let's do it. saw the last video you know I got that nav TV tucked right behind this little panel right here so I'm gonna pop that off I'll have access to that optical cable send it out the door make sure it works and I'll tuck it back in until the amp rack is built oh yeah do that this is what you call pre-planning I got a remote wire ready to go for the amps got this right here 25 footer Thank you. 
we're no longer hooked up to the test bench head unit. Now we're hooked up to the Escalade. Of course, now that I'm changing my inputs, I'm going to want to tell the processor that I'm doing it. I'm going to choose optical this time. And same thing, we're going to do left, right, and sub. Obviously, you have a lot more choices right down here. Lots of choices, and I'll be using probably this one right, right here whenever it comes time. But for the test bench, we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, the whole object of that nav TV unit I installed last week was to get super clean sound out of the factory deck. This way I don't have to try to put anything aftermarket in here. Oh, we got no XM signal, we're gonna have to go to a CD. Now the good thing about the nav TV is it's hooked up but it's not interfering with anything in this vehicle until I cut those wires out so while those wires are still hooked up all the factory stuff still works so of course we're gonna hear sounds in here right now but what's more important is that I hear sounds out there that I know it's all working so we should have signal let's see if we got signal oh yeah we do have signal, I think. It's lit up. All right, we got the signal hooked up. Let's see if we got some sound. Yeah. Nice. Now that the laptop is unhooked, we should be able to control it with this thing. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to go turn the volume up inside the vehicle and see if it's any different. That's coming out of the Escalade. This right here is what's important. <laughs> One of my best friends in the whole world for the lump and his arms just started to be long. Try to put it on for as long as he could, but he knew pretty soon that he's got to see it. Can't bump it like that. It's way too early for that. It works good. And we're ready to roll. Damn. I don't know what the sauce is, but it's three long days. So we're going to get a lot of moments in his past. So the time spent doing drugs, just the money suddenly was not since told the Lord above him. He was down. I'm going to sell him. Rapper said I'm going to sell him. From Puerto Rico, setting out the chemicals to set up for like a trap. When he needs someone to vent on the wings, weak, she be motivating him to keep. All right, this thing was very easy to hook up. So far, very easy to configure. It sounds amazing, and all I did was set the crossovers. I didn't even adjust the EQ or anything like that. Just flat. So I know I'm gonna be happy. I can't wait to get this thing into my truck, into my amp rack, and hear how this thing sounds. Check back for that video coming up. I'm not gonna say soon because I don't know when. Still waiting on my B2 audio amps to get here. Then I can start building my amp rack. I can start thinking about these doors and whatever else I gotta do. It's gonna be a challenge, but I'm up for it. Stay tuned.